opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark-squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. The Catalan opening is a slower, more positional opening where white prepares to fianchetto the light-squared bishop on g2, where it will help control the center. d5 takes space in the center and attacks the e4 pawn. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. That pawn was free for the taking. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This threatens to win a pawn. It is the last book move. This gives away a free pawn. It is a mistake. That was a free pawn. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is good. Takes back. It is best. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This threatens to kick a queen. This permits the opponent to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to kick a bishop. It is a mistake. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a rook. It is a miss. This misses an opportunity to reveal an attack on a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This leads to losing a pawn. There was only one good move there. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is a blunder. This exposes an attack, threatening a pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is a mistake. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. It is a miss. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is good. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This allows the opponent to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. It is a mistake. This threatens to reveal an attack on a knight. It is a mistake. That's fine. It is good. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is excellent. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is a fair move. It is good. Recaptures. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, 
allowing them to provide mutual defense. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is best. This wins material. It is excellent. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a queen. This allows the opponent to pin a rook. It is a mistake. This adds pressure by pinning a rook. It is best. This defends a rook that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is excellent. This moves the rook to safety. It is excellent. This wins a knight. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. This evades the check from the queen. It is best. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. It is excellent. This defends the attacked knight. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is excellent. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is excellent. Placing a rook behind an opponent's passed pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. It is excellent. One of the best moves. It is excellent. Capturing that pawn wins material. It is good. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is excellent. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. This forks multiple pieces. It is good. This moves the rook to safety. It is excellent. This captures a vulnerable pawn. This threatens to play checkmate. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. It is good. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played better than black in the opening, but it was sloppy. Both players navigated the middle game well.